So last big nerd news story of the week. This one's a lot of fun. This one comes straight from uh, Mainframe Comic Con News. If you go to MainframeComicCon.com, you can click on the News tab, and you'll read all about this one. It's uh, Cuphead. The uh, series Cuphead and Mugman, the, the yeah. widely beloved video game that came out, I believe, in 2017. <laughs> uh-huh, I think that's about right. Uh, Netflix is making an animated Cuphead television series. Yes. Uh, what this, this is just announced this week, and everybody went just batshit crazy for it. Next, they said Netflix is planning to release a show starring Cuphead and Mugman from the Smash <laughs> hit game. The game's just called Cuphead. They said there isn't much... We don't know that much about the series just yet. Right. But, I mean, honestly, the, the, the promise and the possibilities of this show oh, are no. insane. They can do so much. So what is Cuphead? Uh, what are we talking about? If you don't mm-hmm. know about it, Cuphead is the uh, it's a side-scrolling uh, animated video game that pits our heroes, Cuphead and Mugman, against Satan himself. <laughs> if you ever made it to the end of the game, you know, you are actually, like, Fighting Satan? Satan is the big bad <laughs> at the end of the game, which is really, really badass. But the graphics. I know. What makes headlines about Cuphead, Cuphead is the, the, the graphics of the game based heavily on that sort of 1920s yeah, like uh, Popeye animated. It's a very Popeye-ish, and, yeah, Betty looks, Boop, yeah. kind of the old 1920s animation. It's a fun, fun game, not only to play, but just to watch other people play. Yeah. You've said it before to where it's like... Um, it's almost more fun to watch people play for me because it looks like I'm watching a cartoon and then you get to catch all the little Easter eggs in the background I and know. stuff. Whereas if you're actually playing it, you're trying to, you know, actually play and beat the game. So, but it's, oh, I'm excited for this. It's going to be great. I'm very excited. Like I said before, you know, there's not much information we know about the, the new Netflix show. Mm-hmm. Uh, we know it will be following the misadventures <laughs> of the impulsive Cuphead and his cautious but persuadable brother Mugman. Um, something interesting though if you ever watch somebody play the game the game has a lot of adult yeah. content in it I don't know if you got that graphic or I not do, but there's, right uh, it, there's a lot of cigars and alcohol uh-huh. <laughs> you know cigarettes and ashtrays a lot of uh, adult kind of imagery which is perfect for something like that Betty Boop 1920s because that's the way yeah, it looked back in I the mean, day right. but the show according to Netflix is going to be it's going to fall under the genre of kids TV interesting so it's going to be a kids it's labeled as a kids show so I wouldn't expect to see too many cigars and cigarettes and ashtrays huh. floating around in the Cuphead series I think it's going to be a little more akin to the old Looney Tunes than it is to okay to, of course, you know, you saw Bugs Bunny smoking cigarettes exactly. every now and again. I mean, that, <laughs> and they all went into bars and stuff. And they're getting the, drunk all yeah. the time. I remember Bugs Bunny got drunk several times. Uh-huh. Always a lot of gunplay. Yeah. So uh, I wouldn't expect to see too much of that. Yosemite Sam, he was always in a bar. Yeah. He was a racist. <laughs> he was a but anyway, racist. Uh, the, the, the crappy part, last little bit about this Cuphead thing, is it's uh, it's only been announced for one season. Mm-hmm. Uh, 11 episodes. Okay. But each episode is only 10 minutes long. Oh. 10 minutes. Every episode's only a 10-minute show, so it's going to be stupid bingeable. Uh, it's going to be 110 minutes long, the entire <laughs> series. Interesting. So not even an hour, oh, yeah. no, a little over an hour and a half. Well, I guess that makes sense because it is call it kind of following the vein of Adult Swim. Like yeah. all their shows are about 10, 8 to 10 minutes long. Robot Good point. Chicken. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, Aqua Teen Hunger Squid Force Billies. was about 15 yeah. minutes with commercials, though. This is not going to be commercials. That's also true. So it's just going to be straight 10 minutes, bam, 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 yeah. bam, bam, bam. You talked about uh, Love, Death, and Robots. Mm-hmm. Some of those episodes were only a couple minutes long. Yeah. You know, so kind of similar to that. And, then and if you everybody about... binges stuff on Netflix anyway. Right. They're just going to let it go and just, just hit play and let it go, yeah. binge it all in one shot. And if you think about even Looney Tunes, like even those segments were only like 10 minutes long. They right. Just, they just showed you three different cartoons. Exactly. Wile E. Coyote and the Roadrunner were not half-hour episodes. They were 10-minute shorts. And I'm sure that's exactly what this is going to be. I'm hoping it's one long story. Mm -hmm. I hope that the the show plays out like the video game where they start and they have a mission and they got to go all the way to the end. You think? I hope so. I think it'd be cooler to do it like that than, than... I don't know. That's I like. <laughs> I like serial yeah. uh, stuff more than episodic. That's I like. True. I like things that just kind of run beginning to end. One long story it may not be that since it is for kids. I'm trying to think of a cartoon that does that, and I can't. Castlevania. I mean, Netflix. Oh, okay. Netflix does a lot of it. That's true. Pretty much all Netflix's animated stuff has been pretty much serialized. I think. Yeah. I, don't I can't know. think of anything else really, though. But that's not really aimed for Simpsons, kids. The Bob's new Transformers on Netflix oh, yeah, is going to be the true. same way. That's a good point. Uh, but you're right. Like Comedy Central. Uh, stuff is very episodic. Even the Fox stuff, too. 
Very true. So I don't know. I'm pretty excited about Cuphead. We do not know when it's coming out. I wouldn't expect it any time in 2020, of course. Yeah. Maybe 2021. Mm -hmm. Uh, Netflix has a lot of other animated stuff they're putting out with Kevin Smith. And then, like I said, the Transformers thing coming out. So Cuphead, probably maybe late in 2021 before we see the Cuphead series on Netflix. So don't cancel your Netflix subscription (laughs) just yet, guys. So that's our entire show guys let us know in the comment section did you uh, learn anything on this week's episode if you're watching us on mainframecomiccon.com welcome to the site explore around we got a lot of great mainframe news coming up uh in the coming days in the coming weeks so um check out mainframe cruise around find us on youtube click the subscribe button and uh we'll join us here next week every single sunday for the uh, breakdown of all the nerdy news happening in the world of fandom every single sunday right here on youtube and on mainframecomiccon.com shauna Yes. Say, say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye, and don't forget to plunk in your email on the mainframe website and get join the newsletter. That's right. <laughs> join that newsletter, that annoying pop up that you got. Uh, <laughs> don't ignore it. Anyway, guys, have a fantastic week. We'll see you here next week. Uh, have fun and goodbye. Bye bye.